Hey guys and gals, what's crack lacking? Spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my other videos. <clears throat> Come on back and I'll tell you what I got going on with these plastics. Okay, so today is uh, I'm going to start a new series, you know, a series of videos dealing with uh, recycling plastic. Now, the plastic that I will be recycling is HDPE. I'll have that down here at the bottom because I don't know how to how to really pronounce it. I mess it up every time I try to say it, so it's down here at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> what what HDPE is is uh, the little recycle square at the bottom of uh, your plastic bottles and plastic jugs. HDPE is the number two uh, recycling number. Um, here on this uh, jug of antifreeze, you will see in very big letters right there, number two HDPE. Um, <clears throat> it's very common to find HDPE. Your main source is going to be your milk jugs. They're number two plastic. Um, now, other things that you can find is like your coffee fill, uh, your coffee containers. They're number two plastic, like I said. Uh, this is antifreeze, number two plastic. And also, a lot of your buckets uh, that you get are HDPE. Uh, HDPE is a good food grade plastic. Um, so, it's widely used in just about everything, you know, shampoo bottles, uh, you have some shampoo bottles that are HDPE, and you have, um, you know, juice jugs and stuff like that. So it's it's easy to find it. Uh, now what you do with it is up to you. Now of course I can throw this away in a garbage can and go to a landfill and sit and try to rot for the next five ten years. But if you have a chance to use something and recycle it, why not do it? So. My, my whole deal is, is what I'm going to do with this plastic is I'm going to process it, recycle it, and I'm going to make a slingshot out of the plastic. So, do not miss out on any of the videos and do not miss out on the very end video because I will uh, eventually be revealing that slingshot that I made. Um, I know you've seen in my other video that I was trying to make a, a wood uh, slingshot out of a fork of a tree. Well... I can't really do it with one hand. It was kind of complicated, so I just I really gave up on it. So what I want to do is I'll get down to how I how I get this uh, plastic ready to be uh, melted down. Hold on, I'll be right back with you. Now, whenever you have uh, your HDPE melted down and after it uh, hardens back up from being melted, uh, what makes the recycling issue the HDPE really good is that you can manipulate that plastic just the, this, the same way you can with uh, wood. Um, you can take a saw to it uh, to cut it into different pieces. Uh, you can stick it in a band saw to cut it, you know, cut your shapes out. Um, if it's not really, you know, level on the top, you can stick it in a wood planer and, you know, shave the top of it off so it'll be smooth. Um, you can take a router to that plastic, uh, you know, after you get something cut out and shape up the, the corners of it. Uh, you can take a wood rasp and, 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 sand, and, and sand away some of the pieces to, to manipulate that plastic to whatever you want. Anything you can do with wood, you can do with this plastic. And that's what makes it really good to use. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this video up so I don't want all the videos to be so long. Um... I just want to kind of tell you about the HDP, where you know how you can find it, and what's what I'm going to do with it. So be sure to check out the next video. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be starting to get this ready to be melted down, and I'll show you the process that I do to cut all this up. Uh, so I'll check you out in the next video. Uh, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos that I have coming up uh, with this HTTP.
All right, guys. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank y'all for watching. Remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.